At this point, I am three weeks post radiation. Um, what I look forward to now is on perhaps April 15th, I believe I'll start back on the, the Degrisso um, for my non-small cell lung cancer. Um, not quite sure what's really going on at this point, and we will have to wait a little bit longer for some of the swelling and inflammation to go down, but on May 13th, I will have a CT scan with contrast as well as a brain MRI because small cell cancer is very aggressive and one of the places that the Mets might become a problem are in the brain. So I'll, I have opted not to go for a prophylactic all over brain radiation that I was offered, um, but I am gonna to go to have more brain MRIs from here on out to make sure that if anything happens that we are able to, to start radiation on areas that might be you know, in my brain. Um, right now, depending on where I am, um, at this point, immunotherapy is not one of the options I have, but who knows what research out there might provide that option for me. Um, I kind of did, from the get-go, the beginning, targeted drug therapy was kind of like one of the last options that they used to choose, but for me, for this situation, the um, Tarceva that I took really came before what the chemo and radiation have become for me now that I am a small cell uh, cancer patient. But, um, you know, I am open to any therapies that come available. Um, I must admit, I did pass on the clinical trial for the, for the prophylactic whole brain uh, radiation after doing my own little bit of research and discussion uh, with a few folks and obviously I'm not sure if that I'm canceled out forever on that. It might be that I would have to do that if it becomes necessary. Um, but we haven't really, my husband and I, discussed much more than just, you know, waiting until, you know, this next scan in May comes up as to what might be that I'm able to hold my own for a while with the radiation and the chemo. One of the things, as I mentioned earlier, that we were told right from the beginning, uh, we, uh, Nancy's first oncologist, who was absolutely terrific too, and who sent us to her second oncologist, but he told us right from the beginning that this may be like trying to treat a, uh, a chronic disease, and uh, we don't know what's gonna come in the future. We had no idea that small cell lung cancer was coming our way, and uh, what kind of treatment it would, it would be, but so far we have been guided I feel that we've been guided in the right direction every step of the way by the uh, wonderful physicians who have treated her and spent so much time explaining her options and, and trying to include her and me into the decisions. And as the to, children. And the children. We had conference calls. Yeah. Yeah, into the decisions about her, what, what her treatment would be. And, uh, you know, for anybody out there who's undergoing a similar situation, I surely hope you have access to, to that kind of help because that's cr absolutely critical every step of the way. If I were uh, uh, giving any uh, words of wisdom, if, if I have any words of wisdom to give to somebody in a, similar, in a similar situation about being a caregiver for someone like this, I would say get informed. Try to learn as much as you can about the disease, uh, so that you can be included in what's going on, what treatments are available, what treatments are being given, uh, which are not and why, and, and try to an anticipate as much as you can uh, what the patient is going to experience because it, you, you'll, nobody will ever figure it out, but you just got to be ready for anything and everything. And we don't, as I said earlier, we don't know where we're going, but we like where we've been. And... Uh, Hopefully, we'll continue going in that direction for as long as, as, uh, as we can. I, as the patient, would say to someone who's newly diagnosed is that you have to get over the shock and awe of it, but you also have to realize that it is okay to ask questions, and if your friends want to talk about it with you, that that's something that's more beneficial to you. Of course, making it your whole identity is not what you want because as my daughter told me at the beginning of this, she said, Mom, you still have a life to live. So 
live your life as much as you can.